This is going to be tricky because this video is going to be filmed over the next couple of weeks. Aria! Get very vocal, Aria. Yeah, anyway. So it's to talk about seasons. And I don't know whether I might end up doing part one and part two. And part two might come a lot later on in the season. I'll kind of see how this video goes. And we'll go from there. So there's a lot of differences in seasons between dogs, you know, including the age they start. And sorry, you can just look that pretty. Um, so they can start having seasons as early as six months old and they can start having seasons as late as two years old. There's a post in one of the breeding groups on Facebook and according to that they've had one that didn't start having seasons until three years old. I, that's very rare. I'd say between six and 12 months old is average. She was about to tell Pod off for sniffing her. So, what do you look for to know your dog's in season? So, the number one sign is bleeding. The first day you can't see bleed, like blood, and it might be a drop on the floor. You might never see blood coming from the dog itself. That's pro more than likely gonna be your season, and that's more than likely gonna be day one. Now, some dogs are cleaner than others, and are better at cleaning themselves up than others. And, some seasons they bleed more than other seasons. It varies, like it does with women, it varies. They can come in every six months and like Disney comes in every 11 months. Um, all my others fit somewhere between, usually between the six to eight month mark, my girls are coming in for season. So they swell up. So I hope people don't mind a graphic picture. That might be easier. So you see that's quite swollen. It's a little bit redder. Oh, we're being personal. <laughs> she says, I don't mind, mummy. I don't mind. We, we help everyone out and teach them about girl stuff. Yes. Um, and with Nala, she's got like quite an obvious line there. And that goes more prominent. Good girl, but no. And it swells up a lot. So we're three days into a season now. Always mark it on the calendar, you know, on your wall, on your phone, whatever. And that's your first day. Behaviour wise, they're generally a bit quieter, a little bit more clingy, a little bit more cuddly. It's just not hard, is it, banana? That's not a bad thing about seasons. No. No, it's not a bad thing, is it? Um, as you can see from behind, I call it a zip line, but that line going down to a lady part, very exposed, very prominent. My others don't get quite as prominent as that. So anyway, first seven days, I generally walk my girls as normal because boys aren't really interested. Now, I've known the girls, not my own personal girls, but I've known bitches come and they are ready to be mated on day eight of their season. Now the average is like day 10 to, I'd say 13, maybe 14, where they're ready for a dog. But again, it can vary. Lily, on her second litter, went as long as day 18 before she was ready for the male. So there's big variation but average is day 10 to 14. Now you'll know when, what we call is the standing days. You'll know when your dog is on the standing days, because what they do, I'm gonna do it to Nala's tail, because she won't mind, is they like curl their tail like that, to the side or to the other side, either side, when dogs are around, or when you scratch there, you scratch there, when they're close to their standing days, quite often their tails start to drift. 
so you know they're close or on their standing days. That is 100% days where you do not walk your dog. If your dog misses a walk, it won't kill your dog. Like pregnancies in the wrong scenario with the wrong male could. Jumping out of your garden to go and find a male and they run across the road could kill your dog. Some girls are worse than others for looking for a dog, as in they're really quite desperate and they will run off. So I'd say if you still don't think your girl's on, your stand in, on her standing days and you still want to walk her up until you can't, after day seven, personally, keep them on a lead all of the time. Do not let them off lead because some males are chances, some males are super quick, some girls are a little bit tarty and they'll stand before they should, before they're actually ovulating. And boys may take advantage, advantage of that. When you let your dog out in your garden, your girl out in your, the garden, when she's on her standing days or when she's close to her standing days or just finished her standing days, supervise her at all times. I've heard of stories, I've even seen videos of a male dog jumping out of a kennel, escaping from a kennel, it's then jumping and it's breaking into the girl's kennel, mating with her, jumping back out and into his own. So dogs are really clever and really crafty when there's a girl in season. And it happens both ways, as in the boy would be crafty at getting to the girl. You're not that clever though, you poddy. You're too relaxed to be too naughty. And girls are, can be equally as crafty at getting to boys. I've heard of stories of the girl in season girl being in a crate and the dog managing to mate her while she's in the crate and he's outside of it. Um, I heard of dogs opening doors, breaking through doors, biting through walls, all sorts. So make sure when you, there's a chance a dog could get near your girl, you were there supervising to be able to sort things out. Um, so obviously I'm talking more in advance of this season. Maybe this is just going to be a talk about seasons. So your signs to look like they might be there. I might just end up doing one video on it. <coughs> so for the next week, I'm happy to take Nala on walks. And I'm happy to do things with her because I am always going to be there. I am always going to supervise. Maybe actually I will do a part two of how I work the separation from pod in the house. Um, so, and then what, and then other things I'll do with Nala to sort of make up for a lack of walks. Now, the other thing I always, oh, pumpkin just fell. Um, the other thing I always notice is my girls always put on weight when they've had a season. No matter what, how much I reduce their food, they go super greedy. And I'm sure it change, the hormone change changes their metabolism. I don't know this for sure, but it would make sense because they want to pack on calories and nutrients ready for a litter. Whether they made it or not, they prepare for a litter. The other sign to notice, now I've just remembered because I'm stroking Nala, is these get bigger when they're in season and just before a season. And I've seen them and they get quite pink, like Nala's hasn't, haven't gone really pink. Have they been on her? No, they're not very pink. It's all right. Oh, hard life. Hard life being a banana. See, they're very, very chilled. You can see the swelling from here. See how that's way more out and prominent. I forgot my train of thought now and that just distracted me. So yeah, I think I, I will do a two part video, but bleeding, swelling, swelling, calmer, quieter, more clingy, not quite themselves. But yeah, they put on weight, that's what I was talking about. So I've already reduced Nala's food. 
and when pumpkin and raven have their first season what i've discovered with aria or i finally figured out after having a few puppies have their first season is you need i just halve their food so whatever they're on now it'll be halved and after they have their first season they've never needed it to be doubled back to what they were on so that's what i figured out with them might be the same for yours might not be but certainly expect weight gain prepare for weight gain with a season prepare isn't it aria isn't it aria now the other thing is i've entered nala for quite a few shows and etiquette would say you do not show in season bitches but loads of people do and i mean loads guaranteed every show you go to you'll see at least one girl in season and it's obvious because look at that sweat she is a bit grumpier too with the boys especially when they're by her back end yes yes um yes um get him get him banana you're gonna get him um so like one of the shows that will fall within a season is a championship show um it won't fall in her standing days she'll be over there she'll be pretty much out the season by then but what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna make sure that area is really clean I wash it before i go the morning before i go and i'm gonna put perfume around her bum to just disguise any leftover season smells so yeah actually the way this season's fallen is the shows the two shows she's got um planned are gonna fall either side of her of her standing days so I was quite lucky really I'd never take a girl on their standing days but either side of their standing days I will take them to a show with extra pr proportions like I might sandwich her crate in between the other dogs so she's not next to somebody else's dog um, careful about when and where I take her out etc etc Perf every time she leaves the crate put perfume on her bum above her tail um, and a bit of perfume around the crate as well. But yeah, anyway, this is Nala's season part one. Part one. So yeah, just to recap. Swelling of her lady parts there and under there. Reddening of those parts as well. Pink, like they go a bit pinker and calmer quieter clingier in temperament you can see it's quite red there can't you so um yeah anyway hope this is helpful i shall see you all soon bye